one of the main goals of prostate cancer surgery is to get all the cancer out. And uh, that is the bottom line. But this bottom line needs to be achieved while still achieving the quality of life issues such, such as urinary function and the sexual function. And at any given time, cancer cells are never more than a millimeter away from these critical nerves and critical muscles which control either the sexual function or the urinary function. The research done in the physics lab and biomedical engineering can actually allow us to see the cancer in a real time and also differentiate from the nerve fibers while we are doing the surgery. So instead of finding out seven days later that this nerve was involved with cancer, we can possibly know about it then and there and make decisions and actions to address that issue. You can actually use a special kind of a laser to show that light on the cells where cancer cells may be wrapping around the nerve and those cells start glowing and the cancer cell glows in a different way and the nerve cell glows in a different way. So as a surgeon in a real time we can use this approach and this work actually was done in Cornell. I don't think uh, it's like a superman but uh, it's like having an extra eye to see structures and actually get to see what is deeper than the surface. It's like in night vision goggles, same thing is happening during surgery. If we get an enhanced vision, I think enhanced recovery can happen. That real-time imaging can give data for the surgeons and physicians while they're performing a surgery so that the patients can really have a better outcome and that can have a improved quality of life. I can't forget a 36-year-old male patient coming to my office brought in by his dad with a diagnosis of prostate cancer. So this 36-year-old young man has prostate cancer. And with him, his dad, who had about 15 years ago prostate cancer. And that is the reason they could pick it up because dad was being very pushy in screening and following that thing up. Otherwise, at 36 years, who cares about prostate cancer screening? But that was right, and this patient did have an aggressive prostate cancer. Now, another emotional aspect with this was that he had with him his wife, with a baby in the stroller and a three months pregnancy going on at that time. And this patient had to figure out how to kind of sort out the survival issues, quality of life issues, continuing the family issues. And this is all what an individual patient has to face. They have a fear of death because of prostate cancer, which is very uncommon. If we do the right things, we literally can cure this cancer. But patients do worry. And uh, he did very well. I mean, we got lucky. And then this baby, uh, for our program, this 36-year-old was a baby. And he did do very well. We feel lucky to be in this timeline in the medical evolution, definitely in the prostate cancer treatment. We touch thousands of patients' lives. And the way things are happening in this institution at Weill Cornell, I think in next few years, we will be reducing the suffering, we will be increasing the survival, and we will be improving the quality of life in these patients.